Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. Today I'll be taking you to the Detroit Institute of Arts or the DIA to see the exhibit Van Gogh in America. This exhibit is a once in a lifetime opportunity to see 74 original pieces from Vincent Van Gogh. So I can't wait to share this vlog with you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you already haven't done so. And if you have, thank you so much. So stay tuned and let's go see this exhibit together. We had the honor and the privilege of attending a member-only event to meet the great-grandniece of Vincent Van Gogh, Josine Van Gogh, along with her daughter. This year marks the 100th anniversary of the DIA being the first American museum to acquire a Van Gogh. So without much further ado, I'm going to go ahead and take you to the lecture where his great-grandniece, Vincent Van Gogh's great-grandniece, along with her daughter, spoke. The stage is all set and we were so fortunate and so lucky to get front row seats to this event. Seats in the house. <laughs> this is where the lecture is going to be taking place. Thank you so much for joining us tonight and thank you so much for your membership. It's really amazing uh, to feel the support of all of you for our programs and uh, exhibitions. Because not everybody can go to London, to Paris to see a starry night, or to the Bach Museum in Amsterdam. So, so to have all this group of babies here through the end of January is really special. So if you're making plans to go to Paris this Christmas to see Story Night, I don't say passing a trip because the I'd like now to introduce our speakers today and would like to first uh, refer to uh, the curator of the show, uh, Dr. Jill Shaw. She is the uh, Rebecca Boylan and Tom Silva curator of European art 1850 to 1970. Jill Shaw will be in conversation with uh, <coughs> members of the Van Gogh family and we're so honored and privileged to have here in Detroit uh, Josine Van Gogh and uh, her daughter uh, Yanni Helin. Uh, Josine Van Gogh is a board member of the Vincent Van Gogh Foundation, and she's also a translator. She is a great grandniece of Vincent Van Gogh. And Yanni uh, is the chair of the Vincent Van Gogh Foundation and is um, an online editor for Head Parole, Amsterdam based daily uh, newspaper. She <laughs> so generous with their time here. Um, I first reached out to Yosin um, before the pandemic. Um, I took a chance. I emailed the board of the foundation on our audio guide. Yosin said yes. And now the rest is history. <laughs> so tonight I have a few questions, actually a lot of questions, uh, to ask of them because I think it's just fascinating to hear about how their lives have been shaped by, you know, being part of such an important family. So, we'll get it started. Um, so, this is for both of you. Um, at what age do you recall being aware of the importance of your family? Do you want to go first? Shall I go first? Well, I, I think my mind about it. Okay, I'll, I'll start then. Um, uh, well, when I was small, we had a couple of Van Gogh paintings in our house. We had three, and they were not the major ones. We didn't have the sunflowers, or 
irises or, you know, those, but they were nice uh, paintings. And they were just hanging in our living room. And um, so it, it was part of everyday life. And I remember my parents telling us that it was not allowed to play football or soccer in the, in the living room. But then, who wants to, to have uh, his or her children play soccer in the living room? So um, I think it was until, uh, I, I guess until 1973, when the Van Gogh Museum opened in Amsterdam, that was massive. Um, thing to happen, and uh, then I realized, oh, okay, there's this whole museum for this painter, and I'm related uh, to him. So I think, and at that time I was uh, 30. So, <laughs> well, yes, yes, this works. Yes. Um, well, I think, um, of course, being daughter. Um, uh, uh, I, I kind of grew up with, uh, of course, family stories as everyone does. Um, but I, for the first time, I realized that how huge it was. Um, I, I think I was about 11 or 12. Um, and it was actually here in the US. Um, because uh, my parents took me to uh, an exhibition in Washington, um, and um, well, I had to practice English first, um, and uh, so my mother uh, sent me to uh, a teacher, um, and I had to learn how to say, how do you do, I'm fine, thank you, um, and, um, uh, and then we arrived uh, in the US, and I was very excited by that, um, and um, uh, I think we, there was this huge dinner with all very, very important people, and I thought, wow, all these people are here to see Vincent's paintings. And that was 11. <laughs> <laughs> I could speak very loud if I have to. <laughs> I have a very, very simple question from you. If you were sitting next to Vincent van Gogh, what would be the question you would ask him? It could be about his painting or something in general. What is the one question you would want answered by him? That's not an easy question. <laughs> That's a short question. So the question is, if either one of them could sit next to Vincent today, what would they ask him? Yeah. <laughs> and it could be about his painting or in general. Sorry? It couldn't be about his painting or something in general. <laughs> it's really difficult. <laughs> Why didn't you eat better? <laughs> to go inside the exhibition uh, they said no flash photography but filming is allowed so I'm gonna go ahead and film this for you guys you will get to see Vincent van Gogh's paintings through my vlogs how amazing is this going to be that you will actually get to see his painting not an immersive uh, van Gogh this is his actual paintings make sure to pick up one of these guides uh, there's a lady passing them out here Make sure to pick up this guide. It has a load of information in it about the exhibit and more about his more famous paintings. 
And now get ready to go inside the exhibit to see the actual paintings of Vincent van Gogh. I don't think I can even begin to express in words the feeling one gets when you see these actual paintings of Vincent van Gogh right in front of you. You're literally steps away from them. You see all the vibrant colors. You see each of the strokes. And most of all, you get to see his signature where it says Vincent. It is unbelievable. It is amazing. It is beyond words. You'll see a lot of people on their phones. My friend Cheryl is coming up right now, but they're not actually on a call. They're on an audio guide where you dial in a phone number that the museum gives you. And each of these paintings have a number by them. And you press that number with the pound sign and it gives you more information about the painting. They do have an audio guide available that you can pick up from at the museum, but they also have this option that you can dial in and get more information about the painting through your own cell phone so I thought that's a great option to have so these are from private collections as well what an amazing experience this has been not only did we get to hear from his great grandniece but we got to see 74 original pieces from Vincent van Gogh himself I mean it's unbelievable where in the United States are you going to have the opportunity to get to see original pieces of work from Vincent van Gogh Definitely, definitely recommend you guys coming out to the DIA, the Detroit Institute of Arts, to see this exhibition. It is definitely worth it. I can't even express if you are an art lover, you will absolutely go crazy at this event. They have rooms full of Vincent van Gogh paintings. To hear from his great grandniece was just a one day event, but this exhibition is going to be running from October 2nd to January 22nd, 2023. So definitely get out there to see this. They were originally only supposed to have 68 of his paintings, but they have a total of 74 of his paintings. This is one of his famous ones, portrait of the full span. need to make a trip out to the DIA to see this exhibition. All of you who have seen the immersive Van Gogh, that is amazing, but to see the real thing in person, it's beyond words. You need to get to the DIA to see this exhibition. I have no idea what happened to the audio during this portion, so I'm just going to voice over it. As all of you know, there are two Starry Nights. One of them is at the Met in New York City, and this is the other one, which is the Starry Night over the Rhone. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Um, definitely get out to the DIA to see this exhibit. You will absolutely love it. I'm so glad I got to share this with all of you and I hope it encourages you to go to the DIA to see it for yourself. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you already haven't done so. And if you have, thank you so much. Remember, always believe in yourself, love yourself and take care of yourself. Until next time from the DIA. Bye guys.